I think all the work I've done until now had a fragility and a preciousness to it which really scared me and that's something I really wanted to break away from. I remember Rosenberg used to say it all starts with the possibilities of the materials so that inspired me to push the boundaries of the mediums I was using. I would say I'm a process-oriented artist and this series is quite demanding as it can take me up to two months to complete a piece from start to finish. That's why I needed to stick to some routine, I needed to establish the perfect workflow. And once I'm in tune with that, that's when the fun truly begins. So I begin building up much larger wood panels and collecting images from any sources I could stumble upon. I started sorting out those visuals by color instead of subject matter and I think this small change in the beginning of the process led me to revisit my entire creative approach. In fact, instead of working with single images, I began painting with imagery as a raw pigment. I'll get in the studio early in the morning pretty much every day of the week and I'll always start by putting some music on. To me, it's a way to reach a state of flow I'm looking for. This new body of work is about switching up the roles between photography and paintings. Therefore, the imagery takes on the color, the texture and the expression that you would normally find in a painting. Whereas paint, on the other hand, loses its texture, it is monochromatic and is almost seamless. You can walk by and see your reflection in it. It is so refined and polished that it becomes vulnerable and you could scratch it with a fingernail. And I think that's what makes it a perfect hybrid of the two mediums. If I have to start a whole new production cycle, then I'll begin by stocking up images and once I know I have enough, I'll go ahead and glue them down on the panels. And here I really want to work as fast as I can, because to me it's a way to make sure that the collage is going to be as expressive and as spontaneous as it can possibly be. Once I'm happy with the collage work, I'll move everything to the painting stage, and that can take up to four weeks to fully dry and cure. So when the paint is fully dry, I'll start sanding and polishing it until I get a proper reflective surface. And only then I can move on to the final stage, which is definitely the most exciting part of the process. So I'll begin scratching and scraping the paint away until the collage that reappears tells me either a story that intrigues me or one that excites me. And usually I know that when a good title comes to mind and that's when the work is done. <laughs>